Firstly in Raspberry we need two program one for motor control and one for Wi-Fi communication. In the motor control program firstly is default value defined for servo motor. After that we need to have a method to initial the servo motor. Here we need setup pin 11 as servo motor control PWM and frequency is 50 Hz. Then we start servo with duty cycle is 2% mean 0.4 ms. Next, we create a servo control method, one is increase duty cycle and one is decrease duty cycle. In servo up method we plus 2.5 for each time activated. And in case it's over 12.5 the duty cycle will keep as max value. Then in servo down method we minus 2.5 for each time activated. And in case it's lower than 2.5 the duty cycle will keep as min value. Move to Wi-Fi TCP communication program. We need to call servo motor program here, then call the first setup. After that is TCP IP communication initialization. Remind that the port we input here should same in client port. Host we keep empty mean all client can have communicate with the server. Finally is we will wait till get connection from client, then print out client address. Inside next while loop we will check data receiving content, if there are no data will stop loop. As you can see here we have array data control command, it defined content up and down. If data content is up we will active servo duty increase method which we defined in servo moto program. If data content is down we will active servo duty decrease method which we defined in servo moto program. two program files we need to keep in same folder. Move to Android application, firstly we need install Android Studio and create a new project. Then we need to create the layout with one text box and two button to send command to Raspberry. The text box we will insert the correct Raspberry IP address and port.
we need to create a helper task for TCP IP protocol interface. From this method we can connect and send command to Raspberry over Wi-Fi. Now we create two action for two button. Also we create a method to get IP address and port from text box.
After that, from 2 button we will send up command and down command same as 2 command we defined in Raspberry server program. Start to open Raspberry server. Seam app not work. So reason by button activity I was input wrong method. We need to modify it again. Again something wrong, from the log we can see permission denied. So, to fix problem we need to add a string into main fest. Thanks for your watching. Like and subscribe to follow and support channel.